everybody. I'm out here in Lake Tahoe Nevada State Park at North Canyon Campground. If you stick to the end, I'm going to show you my review and thoughts of the Nemo Dagger 2P tent. Now cue the cheap intro that I didn't have to pay for. <laughs> Hey there. So I uh, decided to come out this weekend, not last weekend. Just didn't feel it for some... Well, actually, my good friend from out of town came in. But uh, I decided to come out this weekend. It's a little bit muggy, but it's all good. And uh, I'm going to go up to the campground. It was fine last week. It's gotten hot. It's gotten really hot up here. So there's going to be a lot of snow melt, a lot of water available. Not gonna want for that. And overall, it's been pretty, pretty good day so far. This is gonna be some chance for rain tonight. It says 40% chance, which means it's 100% chance in my book. That's the way it's been in my life. But I'm just uh, headed up to the campground now. And uh, it's a nice Friday afternoon. Beautiful, gorgeous. I mean, you really can't get much better than this and uh, there's hardly anybody so far hardly anybody out here and I think with the rain possible that if anybody was gonna try to just go camp especially dispersed camping they're not gonna do it I could be wrong don't know it could be a lot of people like me out here so anyways it's been great uh, only a couple of people on this trail so far that we're sitting down with some kayakers and that's it. Uh, I'm going towards the road to go up there to North Canyon Campground. So I will uh, see you when I get there. Okay, so up there is one of the, I think it's the only rental I'm aware of uh, here at Spooner. It's not bad, it's actually pretty nice, but they did cut down a bunch of these trees. That's kind of, I don't know, it's a little depressing. I don't know what they're gonna do with this, but I know it's a beautiful area. It's a beautiful cabin up there. It's great to look at, but then you got this. So don't know what they're doing with it. I hope it's something great because it was really pretty <laughs> before. I just uh, saw a couple of mountain bikers pass up here on this road in a white truck. It looked kind of official. I hope it's not anybody saying, hey, you can't go camping this weekend. Uh, I've been out here a few times, never seen it. I mean, you can drive your trucks up there for the access and they got a service to campsites but I haven't seen any on the road before so I'm hoping that that's just a fluke and if it was somebody that they're here at the at the at the lake 
and enjoying it. And it's not somebody out here who is gonna say, no, don't do it, go back. That'd be unfortunate. I don't think so. I don't think it'll happen, but you never know. But, uh, or maybe they were opening up the facilities and they were cleaning out trash. I don't know. I mean, I'm planning on it not being that way. I'm planning on it being just, uh, you know, myself, maybe one other person, but I mean, I, I don't expect to have facilities, so I don't know. I guess we'll see. It could be really interesting. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to live in here, no. Just a minute ago, a couple seconds ago, the, uh, there's a, two guys in the uh, white truck, Nevada State Park, and drove by, just waved, nothing. So they didn't say anything to me. I figured they're following the, the uh, Lake Tahoe Basin unit and they are allowing it. So if they wanted to, they would have stopped me and said don't. So I'm taking it as a good sign, so. Almost there, and I'll set up camp. And here we are, North Canyon Campground has a uh, sheltered toilet, but I'm pretty sure it's not going to be open. I don't think they open up uh, until this weekend, but we did see a couple of trucks, so let's see. Oh, wow. They must have just opened this. Oh, damn. Sweet. That is very lucky. Wow. I did not count on that. Okay, well, don't have to dig the cat holes. So you can see here it's right off the road. You can just pull up there if you're coming through. 
Went up to Marlette Lake, but it's just past here. Last time I was here, there's a bunch of snow all over this. This is not bad. And this view is gorgeous. Oh, wow. Let's see if anybody else decided to come up here today. I have to say they won't later. Okay, so right up there is the connector to the Tahoe Rim Trail. Yes, you are in bear territory and mountain lion territory. And yep, it is pretty pretty dry out here, so I'm sure it's it's a high fire danger, but look at this, my goodness. This is fantastic. This is just fantastic. Now the bear lockers over there. The established fire pits. I've got, I'm just gonna put this down. You've got the tables. Oh, this is great. Oh, all right, so. Very happy, very, very happy that I made it up here. It is 440, so a little longer than I wanted, but I am out of shape, so I'll, I'll get better. But my goodness, I mean, just here's the campground. It's uh, one, these are the places over there. I'm gonna probably camp over there. If I pretend over there, I mean, two spot, come around and Three. I don't know. This looks pretty good. It's it's as well. I don't know. This is kind of a nice one too. There's three spots. My goodness, look at that view. Oh wow. Four spot over here, and then it's just gonna circle back around. And uh, no table over here. Looks like they I don't know if they drug it away or what. But you can see they've got the. Bear lockers here. So I can put my food up in there. Not a biggie. Oh, wait a minute, there's another one over here. Another campsite. So yeah, this will be perfect for tonight. This is gonna be great. Yeah, connection trail. And then over here, oh, this is not bad either. This is uh, this is kind of a nice one here too. So <laughs> I keep saying that, right? But it's just so gorgeous over here. It's so so gorgeous. I can see why uh, I can see why they have certain dates where they open it and they close it because it would be very very busy. I didn't see any scat. I didn't see anything or smell anything. That would tell me that bears have been around. So yeah, it doesn't. So I'm guessing all is good. Although I did see this thing over there. I'm gonna head over back around and see what the heck that is. But anyway, this is the campground. Full circle here. Uh, it's pretty nice, pretty darn uh, easy to get to, and it is definitely. It's definitely a great uh, little easy enough hike. Uh, you don't have to be terribly fit and and whatnot to, to hike up here, uh, especially when you take the, the road. Uh, the trail's up there, and so if you took the trail, uh, it would be easy to get down here, uh, maybe a little harder to get back up, but I'm gonna go check this thing out over there. Uh, I'll put my pack down first. And then uh, I'm gonna go see where the water's at and the water level. Uh, if it's dry, that's gonna suck. I might have to go back because uh, I don't have enough water to last the entire night. And day or dry camping would suck. Um, but I can hear something of a of a stream. So let me check that out, and I will uh, check back with you all later.
I gotta be quick about this because it is definitely gonna rain on me. And I gotta be fast. Yeah. Yum. Okay. There's one. It's two. I'll get the third here. You fine. I'm needing some water. That'll be good. All right. Okay, so this is what it looks like. All staked out, the Nemo Dagger Hornet 2P. It's a pretty decent sized uh, tent here. Uh, you know, they say reduce the P for every uh, rating. So two P's a one P and one P's almost a no P. But it looks like it is gonna possibly or probably rain tonight that's why i'm shooting with the gopro so if it does get sort of rain only it's not gonna be a problem because my dslr is not waterproof but i'm gonna settle down i guess i'm gonna eat here and uh yeah we're gonna try this guy out for the evening and looks like it'll be great okay it is gonna rain that's for sure it is gonna rain some point in the evening but let me give you guys a look here at uh inside that tent here the 2p here i've got the nemo regular wide tensor takes up a good bit of the tent but not all of it still have some room here to to wiggle and here's my lightened equipment my lightened equipment uh 10 degree quilt and what I do is I put my camp clothes inside the foot box here. Or the, yeah, so I just stuff it all in there. And then it makes it easier to pack so I can uh, just pull it out when I'm ready to camp. And that's all my clothes. So I'm going to put all this up, get it set up and get ready, and get some dinner. All right. So there you go. Just a couple of, sorry about that, just a couple of minutes prep. You can add more. I might actually do that. Might add some broth to it. Not so much olive oil, but there you go. It's actually really good and it's very high in calories. I'm not sure how many it is. This is one of the higher ones. I'll uh, double check and then I'll uh, I'll uh, let you know. I'll post it somewhere here on the video. But uh, yeah, it's really good. I've had it several times in the kitchen and first time having this one out here in. Uh, Backcountry, so great job, backcountry foodie. Really enjoy this, really enjoy it.
Well, it's uh, not what I expected. I didn't think hail. I did not think hail. Rain, yeah, that's fine, but I didn't think hail. So far, so good. And I hope that's the way it stays. If we come back out and show you this. A little bit there. Can you see that there? It's kind of crazy. Oh well, you never know what you're gonna get, right? All right, so I think I'm gonna probably call it a night here. I got everything ready. I just gotta put down the quilt and uh, pop in a movie and make your buds and I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it a night. I don't know how cold it's gonna get. I've got this, it says it is 60. And at one point it was at 54. Um, it's supposed to get down to as low as 45 in Kingsbury, and that's about the same elevation as, as here. So um, we'll see. Um, it's muggy out, obviously with the rain, so probably won't get below 50, which is fine because I'll be more than more than uh, ready for it. So should be pretty nice uh, overall. So I'm looking forward to it, and uh, yeah. Well, that's it for tonight. Have a great one. Oh. Oh. So this is why This is why all my stuff is damp this morning. I knew it was a lot more humidity than I figured so. Wow. Oh, beautiful morning. A lot of, a lot of fog still up here in the mountains. I'm gonna get some breakfast and I'm gonna pack it up and I think North Canyon Campground is a wrap. Oh, and just in case you're wondering, yeah, um, it actually did, see so if you can see that, it actually did get down to 47 last night. So, kind of, kind of thought it would, but I, I slept great, I slept great. All right, so here are my initial impressions of the Nemo Dagger 2P. It is a pretty spacious tent. It is... It has two vestibules, two doors, which is great. I wouldn't call that a two-person. I think it's like any other tent, it's a great one-person. It has uh, eight stakes, two for the vestibules and four for the corners. So on each side of the vestibule, so you'll, you'll definitely want eight if you want the maximum room. I, I would definitely carry eight. Um, the rain fly held up really well last night with the rain and the hail that I got. And it's, like I said, pretty spacious and pretty roomy. So I'm gonna take the rainfly off and then I'll get in and then I will show you just how big this thing is. All right, so as you see, this is me sitting up. If even if I had my air pad, I still, I still would not hit the top. Uh, I have plenty of room here. I have two mesh pockets for the night lights so it'll diffuse the light. I have two pockets on each side for four and it's plenty big. I had no problem last night sleeping in here. Lots of room, lots of room. This is a good one person backpacking tent. Two people would be a pretty tight fit, in my opinion, pretty tight. But you can roll this back, you can roll the rain fly back. You can uh, set this up pretty, relatively easy. Uh, struggle with it the first time, but you know, you always do. So, but yeah, this is a uh, really good uh, one person backpacking. Uh, two people could do it, but like I said, really good for one person and your gear. So I, so far, like it a lot. All right, everybody, that is a wrap for the North Canyon Campground. Take a good look at it. It's uh, pretty darn nice. It's uh, free. It's open. The bathroom facilities are definitely open. I used those last night. So as of uh, 
yeah, May 30th, it's good to go. So here's one last look at it with all the nice, beautiful fog. It's very picturesque. tad damp this morning, but you're going to get that up here at the lake, especially when it rains as much as it did. But, yeah, overall, that was really great. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, I found it informative, and knowing that as of right now, you can come up here and camp for free. If you're out on the trail, you're good to go. And if you have anything else that you, you thought I missed, or something that you thought uh, you know I should look at or something you know let me know uh, but I enjoyed it so hope you found this informative and helpful if you like it enough give it a like maybe even a subscribe I'm gonna do a lot more of these as much as I can uh, as long as the foot, foot, foot holds out but yeah North Canyon Campground open for business thanks everybody bye